channel as my channel, channel's name may suggest, um, I'm a professional gambler and um, I'm, I'm trying to give instructions, professional, professional, bad instructions. So I'm, I'm ready to come back to that, of course. I may have, may have mixed up a couple of things and I will continue to do so. It's just the name of my, my channel and at some point referring to that. Also, I can see your reactions, obviously, sometimes leaving a comment or sometimes a like or sometimes just I see the amount of minutes or the, the number of views about my videos. And of course, I'm trying to <laughs> climb my way up the, the, the rankings. So you will, whenever you're into professional or gambling at all, uh, then uh, you, you would find me or new people would find me. You are there already. Anyway, in doing so, I noticed, I may have noticed that you liked um, or you liked, you watched uh, some of those about the, the gambling stuff. And of course, I, I, I recorded a couple of those and of course I always mean to, to come back to these at a certain point. And um, there's a lot I can, I, can, I can talk about and this is okay, of course it's, it's uh, so to say I'm, I'm a professional gambler and I, I speci specified yeah, on football betting which means uh, that, I, that I'm, I've been watching football all my life and you can say, well, it, well, could you be an expert in that, in doing so? I think you can. And uh, I mean, just develop and build on some knowledge and try to think about it. Of course, what goes along is I'm not a real supporter of any, any team. Getting back to that, if, if I still see that Roma logo on my wristwatch, then um, it may mean I like Roma, I like Totti, okay, I've never been to the stadium, but anyway, when I see it, uh, they play, I watch it, or, you know, but, but it's not a real, you know, I'm not, I'm not an enthusiast, I'm not an enthusiastic supporter of any team, and this goes along, of course, very well with the, with the you know, you, 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 I pick any team. I pick any team. And actually any traditional bookmaker would do so as well. Okay? When you compile a price, you can you say, okay, you're the punter, go ahead, take your one, take your X, take your two. I take the other two chances. I mean if we, we, we look at the one X2, very traditional market. And it's of course it, it's in some sense it's the basic of football, right? You try to win if you don't win, you still hope for a draw, and if you don't get a draw, you lose. Okay, you're pretty sad. But if you count the number of goals, or you go on, on the amount of goals, then you know you watch a game differently. And already if you start betting on goals, goal lines, so to say, right? Over, 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 usually people, well, in Europe, they tend to bet a, a little more over. But this already means... Um, you're not really foot watching football anymore. I Maybe mean, you may you may still say, okay, I want goals, so I want some good football. But you're very happy if the goalkeeper misses, a, you know, or a defender, <laughs> or whatever it is, right? Any kind of mistakes, you would love to see to see some more goals coming, right? As soon as you won your bet, you may even switch off, right? When you got an under, you can't really switch off unless you say. Uh, okay, I'm under 2.5 or under 3 goals, less than 3 goals, and it's nil-nil and it's 90th minutes. Okay, that's useless. I won my bet. But otherwise, you know, the, the one who goes for over, he may have, um, uh, uh, yeah, so <laughs> save some time <laughs> watching because he may have won his bet. Anyway, you would not be a real football watcher, right? You, you can say so, but you aren't. And of course, as soon as you go to the mathematical basis and uh, uh, and you, you I mean you, you just try to find those so-called value bets and um, 
you actually wouldn't need to watch anything. I mean, uh, I mean, maybe watching you you can still uh, profit from watching and and uh, uh, spotting certain trends and so you 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 update your own data set or you, you your knowledge and and understanding so which goes along sometimes and I do that as well right I have my settings and it's everything is running perfectly well I would say what what is perfect nothing is perfect you can't say that in, in the, in the uh, terms of probabilities or so they are just well it's rough guesses anyway so I'm still doing adjustments anyway to those settings or to yeah sometimes you even have to there, there are very, quite a couple of parameters that need to be adjusted, and and it's it's a pretty difficult and complex work, I would say, but still there is some general guidelines so to say I'm following. But anyway, by watching what what is the 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 plus in doing so, it is um, you may um, well you may see those certain. Uh, developments and and you may spot it by watching it right usually you have it all in in those data right? I'm, I'm entering all the data as I said uh, the results plus shots plus the corners plus possession plus these uh, set pieces partly and uh, well a couple of data I'm, I'm th that are useful for for seeing the the efforts of a team right if, if you see an Excel sheet here it's pretty meaningless. I was just uh, uh, in case, just in case, I I tried to show something to, so you 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 will see something. There's nothing special on my mind, right? I'm I'm getting along a couple of things that I'm trying to point out right here, and I've done so already, and um, and maybe we come across something that is uh, worth uh, noting here in a, in an Excel sheet, and. Um, yeah, what is the subject now? I mean, you can talk for hours about all that stuff and need a little water. Mm. And if I'm doing it in English, I mean, apologies, should I have to say, to the, to the German viewers, uh, uh, but actually everyone should be uh, able to understand English at least. And uh, uh, very welcome to all the the well abroad what uh, viewers from anywhere else who hopefully would uh, know enough English to understand and yeah you wouldn't tune in if you wouldn't right uh, anyway um, so that's where just to the language and it's also the, the name professional bed instruction is in English so I should do those at least in English language um, as long as I'm myself, my English is good enough to do so. But in, just in case, I, I might be able to look up some words if I'm uh, missing some that are important here. Um, it is this, you could say, probability concept that I'm into and also the whole probability theory that I'm trying to address somehow uh, here. And... Um, I mean, we have this um, this uh, conjunction. What is it? The you see here. I, I I don't know perfect word for this right now. So I'm trying to look one up here. Uh, whatever you see here. Um, coherence, they say. Okay, I'm gonna close these. Sorry for that. Um, coherence, you could say. Uh, I actually should have. Okay, the coherence between probability and price, first of all, right? So now I can use it. If you had a probability of 50%, I mean, I can do this in. Hmm, how would I do that? Okay, like that. Oh, no, that really, no, 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 that's, pisses me, should I say so? Um, and you have the reciprocal of that probability, right? And, no, this is not what I really want, no, 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 sorry for that. 
really mess here. Ah, okay. And how do I get rid of that? Okay, those centers. I mean, uh, we could. What we could do here quickly is just uh, let's say we go from ninety nine percent. And we go stepwise. How many have I got here? Oh no, this is this is new Excel, and I never know what's going on. Why can't I extend this? And how many lines have I got here? It never does what I wanted to do, right? I just would like to have an. <laughs> okay, okay, I really feel so. um, mm, it's not doing what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, but I wanted to. Mm. Okay, it's not letting me what I want. Mm. Okay, all I wanted to show you maybe at some point is. Oh, it's a new Excel, really. Believe me, it's it's driving me mad because it reacts so slowly. I was doing very very simple stuff, and once again, it doesn't do it. Okay, now we get. Please center this. Whew. No, okay, I could go down to 99%, let's say. Okay, mm. okay, so to say you would have odds here, true prices, more or less, to these. If you have a 1% chance, you need a price of 100. And if you have 2% 2, 2 chance and so on. So realistically, usually people do not go, yeah, like so much to go for long shots, but sometimes they say, okay, Saudi Arabia, world champion, one euro, and I win 4,000 or so. And Saudi Arabia are gone after one or two games. Okay, anyway they may tend to go for the very long shots, but not, not a well, 100 to 1, you say, well, it's not going to happen. But still, and this is, so this is the true price. Um, uh, with this probability, or for this probability, right? This is a probability, and this is true price for that. And that's uh, uh, reciprocal. Odds, I don't know if, if this is a decent term, but anyway, you would say, well, what is the the odd the other one is getting right? If I bet a hundred to one, as I said, the bookmaker is ready to take any bet. He compiled his prices, so he said, okay, I pay four thousand to one on Saudi Arabia to win. Go ahead, give me your money, and I pay you in if it happens. But I'm, I'm I cashed in a lot of other bets on Germany or England or whatsoever. But um, it's his job, right? So he is not the one actively betting. This is very traditional way of thinking, so to say, right? But you can still say if you bet for a hundred to one, then he's getting a price two, right? And this is this would be, I mean, uh, it's very simple calculation. But we first of all we we take the reciprocal of that, which is again the, the probability. And then we would say, well, this is one minus this probability, so to say. And then it's the reciprocal of that. 
So this is the price that refers to that. So if you make a bet for 100 to 1, the other one is making a bet for 1.01, right? And you can always, well, I can, I can pull this formula down here. And so you, you would see um, any price the other one is going for when you make a bet with him, right? I mean, just some, if you, if you bet a 5.0, he's betting as well, a 1.25. So you lay, so to say, 10 euro and he lays, uh, or you, you know, and he lays 40 to win your 10, right? He, you lay 10 and he lays 40. So you have 50 in the pot and one of, well, yeah, one of you is gonna take the money. The one who wins the bet. It's a way to put it, right? So you have a certain swing, so to say, right? If, if you expose yourself to a 5.0 odd and you place 10 euro, which is not a lot, you have a swing of 50 euro, right? If you pen, pen, uh, so it's rather, we would, well, we introduced this term and well, I did, well, what are, who's, well the, the mathematicians, they wouldn't, they say, well, I'm not betting or so, or maybe they do, I don't know. But anyway, it is, um, um, you expose yourself to certain swings. And if you make a big bet on a 100 to zero, a uh, 100 to one uh, price, then, then you expose yourself to a big swing. But who would bet 1,000 euro, right? When you have a swing of 100,000. But the other one is somehow more uh, vulnerable, right? Because he can lose 99,000 and you only lose, lose 1,000. So he's gotta accept the bet first of all, right? Anyway, the swing in a bet is, is, is says a bit, little lot more. If you ask someone, how much did you bet this weekend? And he says, well, 100 euro. Oh, that's quite a lot. Or you say, well, that's nothing. But what price did you bet on? And if, if you bet a 1.01, right? So it's like Germany beating, um, who did they play there? Azerbaijan, who was it? And there was a price of 1.01, I remember. Or Malta or Luxembourg or something like that. But, uh, then you have 1.01, so you have a swing of 101. What is your swing this weekend, right? But if you make uh, those combination bets, and they, they usually they pile up long, uh, well, the, the original punter, <laughs> the standard, uh, right? They're piling up long uh, uh, lists of, of heavy favorites, and they get a price of 45 to 1 or so for 10 euro. So they expose themselves to its swing of 450 euro, something like that. But of course, the 10 euro are still the one they are. Uh, well, this is what they can they, they can they are able to lose, right? The other one can lose 440. Still, it is a swing, right? Introduce this term, and so any bet you make. The other one also makes a bet, right? 4.0, it's 1.33, right? If we meet somewhere in the middle, so if you have an even bet, that's usually what, what people do, right? You take uh, Schalke, I take Dortmund, right? Okay, ready, let's go. And it's a draw. Oh, sorry, we, we split the money. Then we still have the problem, who's taking the money and who's paying it out, right? So uh, what I saw, and uh, you know, as I said, I'm a professional gambler, you, 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 I live to see quite a few things and, and uh, when they didn't trust each other, so to say, right? They, they both put, put 100 euro, let's say, under the board or something, and then they said, okay, the, the winner can pick up the money, right? So just to see it's there, right? You wouldn't say, okay, I bet 100 go ahead and and he shoots and then he says okay you lost give me your hundred oh I, I haven't got a hundred right so who takes the money and that usually still is the bookmaker or the office we go to right and you trust it if you say here are a hundred and I, I play bet the price of 4.0 two favorites three favorites whatever and then and you hope you, you you get the money and you usually should and will and if you ever well did not give do net not get pay, paid out uh, you would you would never come back right but uh, of course it is uh, you have lots of things uh, going on on in, in betting and now with the online betting anyway and 
um, uh, all that stuff where you say, say oh, okay, there's a new bookmaker, I don't know, can I trust him? And people ask me and so on. And I say, usually you, 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 you could trust them, right? But yeah, it's a difficult topic. And still, if you have people betting with you or you, you go out and somewhere you say, okay, let's bet on that. And in England, it may have more bigger tradition in Germany than they would say, well, oh, this guy is betting. Uh, he's no good. <laughs> Something wrong with him. He's trying to cheat, betray, no, cheat people. Something like that. Anyway, probabilities. Uh, what, what I'm trying um, to explain or talk about a bit. Or what was the other thing? Well, first of all, yeah, we have certain games. And I mean, the, first of all, you have the, 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 the uh, yeah, games and you have um, maybe the chance to make some turnover on those, right? So if, if you can say, well, I, I'm, I like to watch table tennis or something like that, right? Go ahead, play yourself, watch it. Can be exciting. You 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 move a bit and and what's uh, yeah and uh, it's a game with a ball and you you exercise, practice some techniques and and then maybe you beat your friend or after a while or you still lose, whatever. And then you watch it and you can still say, oh man, I, I saw this guy playing. He's great and and so on. And so you like to watch it maybe. And then you can maybe even so you can play it yourself. You can watch it or you can even bet on it, right? So get some turnover. And this was just one example of a game. And of course you have this uh, sports where you say, well, is the sports itself big enough uh, to, to, to get some bets going on, right? And we, I'm into chess, maybe you know, notice, and, or you know this, and uh, I may have said that or explained it somewhere. And uh, chess is, well, it is growing a bit, and but still you would say, well, just a couple of people playing and then they usually, the people do not understand, so they sit there and think for hours and then they make a move and I don't know why and so on, so you can rather forget that. Also in watching it, observing or watching it and, and, and being excited about it, right? And uh, chess is still, it's growing a bit and maybe one day, and I saw quite a couple of people now even offering some, some, some bets, I made a bet myself, I, I, I don't want to go into details, but this was when Kasparov took on Deep Blue, the big computer, 98 maybe, I don't know, really, maybe it was later, 2000. I, I can't remember, but anyway, uh, it was, there were a couple of matches, right, of this kind, but then the betting market thought, oh, it's about the computer are ready to beat humans, and so we, we set up some prices, and humans also not into chess, which starting to watch this match, right? They just wanted to know, is Kasparov good enough, still good enough to beat the computer? Because the computer beat virtually everyone else. So anyway, and, um, and um, uh, so you see when, when, whenever there's a very big event of, of some certain well, general or public interest, then you can say, uh, uh, let's go, we, we have some betting on that. And this is what I'm trying to say. And, and also you need some exciting with the excitement within this sports or within this certain event, right? Which is, well, excitement, uh, you can say the action itself. So some, yeah, some, yeah, is it when you, you see closing in and maybe, oh, great drama. He made this mistake and now he's losing or oh, whatever can happen. Uh, this kind of excitement, but also some, yeah, somehow balanced chances, but still you may or like, or you, you wouldn't say, well, I, I like to watch a game of, of throwing dice, right? I wouldn't like to watch it. I mean, bigger number wins and make it a hundred times. You can always say, well, it's even chances. So it's very exciting because they are so even. <laughs> but there's no um, fun in that, right? Because you say it's exactly even chances. So what, what is the, the fun in, in yeah, and no skill? This is also an important point, right? If you say chess, for example, they try to eliminate the luck factor, which I'm arguing about. It's not el eliminated because you can still uh, um, uh, 
um, name uh, quite a couple of um, things that can be luck and chess. But uh, usually they, they try to eliminate it. If you take roulette, which is also a game, and you gamble already, it's a game you do not gamble on. It is a game of gambling. It is gambling uh, itself in, uh, in its nature. It's the nature of gambling, right? Or the, the native game of gambling. Uh, but in, in roulette, they added this, um, uh, this uh, so to say, the, the, it's a pure, purely matter of luck, but by paying such good odds, and, uh, right, you, you, well, you, you can get lucky. I mean, you can, can easily get lucky, right? And uh, because, well, it just happens. You, you, if you bet black or red, it's 18 numbers in your favor, 18 against you, and one where you split the money, you lose only half your money, right? So it couldn't be any closer to equality, right? To, to even, to an even uh, what is it called? Two players, uh, even some, uh, I don't know, the, the, I don't even know the German term now, right now. very even game and this makes it in this case exciting I mean you can also say well it's the atmosphere and it's this uh, spinning um, ball there and uh, when when it <laughs> finds us <laughs> when, when you oh it's coming close to my number and then it drops somewhere else so but um, so it's some excitement in that and they try to do it like that right that it is exciting right but this is also, purely a matter of luck, but you can say, well, by this edge to the to the to the bank to the casino, it is um, you will lose in the long run. You will lose for sure. The longer, the more bets you make, the more certain. But it is also just a theory. And um, I have to finish this uh, video in a, in a couple of minutes, and I will try to to make some more. Um, anyway, those probabilities and those games and the excitement within it, if it's excite uh, exciting enough and you, you know there is a favorite, but the outsider does have its chances, or there are a couple of starters, when you have uh, like 16 starters and you say, okay, he's pretty good, and he could also win, and I saw him, and it could be any sports, right? It could be Formula One. Also, when you say, okay, or maybe, maybe that's boring right now, I don't know, Ferrari, Mercedes, I, I don't know really, because I don't care. But uh, you can still say, well, we want some, and that's also what the organizers want, right? We want some excitement, we want not to have a certain winner, right? This is a bit more than in chess again. When you say, well, we try to eliminate luck, so we know who's going to win, the best player is going to win. But still, if they are very close to each other, anything can happen, a lot can happen, right? Because it's, it's still a game, you know, you have your good day, you have a good idea, all of a sudden it works out, so you win, you beat Kasparov yourself. I don't know, but, uh, but um, it still uh, can be this kind of excitement I'm asking for, that um, um, you do not know for certain who's gonna win and you have a development within the game, right? If you watch handball, volleyball, whatever it would be, tennis or so, you may have, okay, Nadal lost the first set, right? So, go on, or he lost the service, uh, something like that. So you say, okay, the chances for the outsider is growing. Then you start watching, maybe you say, okay, maybe he loses uh, another one. Uh, once again, a service. Particles. Uh, I have to... Uh, do something else, some other other business now. I'm. Uh, um, so we we have this. Um, just I want you to understand where well maybe all this betting come from comes from and all this uh, you know probabilities and those movements excitement and that. Who's going to win the ex uh, event? Who's going to win a single game if France play the World Cup or so? They, they, when, you, at the kickoff, you wouldn't know who's going to win Brazil, you know, and you, you start watching it and you'd say, okay, they played well, maybe they can beat the others as well. It's pretty close and there's just one goal deciding the game, but still you, you wait for this one goal. 
And so, uh, because you say, well, then the game is over, okay, but, but still it is excitement, exciting because you do not know who is going to score. So all this kind of is included into this whole concept, of course, and also into this, um, 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 yeah, the, the, the betting probabilities, excitement, um, what you can bet on. And, and as I pointed out here, uh, the prices on whatever it is, right? It maybe used to be like that in, in, the, in the past that people um, just asked for certain events to to occur and then they asked the bookmaker, can you make me a price for that, right? I would like to bet on yeah, something weird maybe or something I think that is going to happen. I, I heard someone ask me before the 1990 World Cup, um, is there a price for uh, uh, Igna, the German goalkeeper, he's not going to stop a penalty during a tournament, right? I mean, they wouldn't compile a price, especially because then he says, okay, I bet 10 marks, it was then, 10 euro. <laughs> okay, would you bet a thousand? Okay, then I compile a price for you. Maybe it, it makes some sense. Or I, you find some more people who want, would like to bet on that. So you have to make, uh, yeah, find this excitement for everyone. And not just for this one guy who says, Irgner is such a bad goalkeeper, he's not going to stop a, a penalty. Uh, it's a silly bet, but you can ask for things like that. You can, and they, they say, well, um, uh, who's going to kick off, right, for example. Because you say, well, I would like to have a bet on the first moment in the game, right? Who's going to kick off? So 100 euro, who's going to kick off? And then, then they offered prices for that. So you can have all kind of these rather silly things, but as soon as it, it, it may be, if it's a simple calculation, right? Is Irgner going to stop a penalty? You couldn't do any kind of calculation. What you usually would do is like an insurance company, you would say, well, I pay you five to one or something like that, and then I'm ready. But if five to one may be absolutely silly. I mean, it may be, uh, you have to give the odds. You have to uh, pay two to one. Because it, uh, they can uh, go on, they play, can, can play seven games, the opponent maybe, you, as soon as I start this calculation, it gets uh, difficult. Then is there a penalty shootout? Is it going to be included? Of course it's going to be. So you will have five chances to stop one. And if there's already the, the, the chance, the expectancy value of one penalty shootout, then you would already be favorite uh, to stop one penalty, right? Maybe huge favorite even. And the, the, if there are five more games. So as soon as you start such a calculation, it gets difficult. And, and you already notice it's not going to pay. And no one in the world would care for that, right? If you said, uh, is Boris Becker going to marry Steffi Graf, which was a <laughs> bad offer at the time, um, then you can say, well, that sounds exciting, so I'm going to go for it. <laughs> they are going to marry, I know that. <laughs> Whatever. You, so you can have uh, all kind of this stuff, but it's the question if this is you will have any kind of market for that. You can also have it as an adver advertising... Um, um, Something right? Is you say, well, in our company you can bet on who's gonna marry Steffi Graf, right? Things like that, and then then people say, oh, I'm going go, going to this office because they got such exciting bets. Uh, what um, uh, whatever that would be, we have those probabilities and the the, the prices for that and the whole co probability concept. As I was trying to explain, it is also reflecting in some sense. People do not know what is going to happen, but they would like something to happen, or they they think this is this is going to happen. So I'm going to bet on it, or you know this is where it all comes from. And we need as a basis, as a you know when when I get into this business, the business I know I'm everything. I'm I'm a punter and I'm I'm a bookmaker as well. I just have one of these sites, and and I'm going to take any site. That's actually where I came from. As soon as you start with a professional business, you say, okay, um, uh, I do not care anymore for any, uh, for any team or anything, you know, I'm, I'm not supporting it. As soon as I compiled my price, this is my opinion. So you can bet against it and you won't have an edge. This is what I can say, right? So I bet on any of my prices by you doing so. As soon as I compile the price, I pay 1.80, this is my price, so go ahead. Take this side, you can also take the other side, you also get 180, or if it's a 1x2, or if it's a Schumacher, it's gonna win the Formula 1, or it's Hekinen, 
uh, I don't know, then I have uh, 1.80 and 5.0 maybe on Hekim, because Schumacher is so much better, because he's German. I don't know, but um, whatever this would be, uh, <laughs> Hekim and Schumacher is a while ago, <laughs> talking about my band in Formula One, which never had been on. Um, all those sports, excitement, probabilities, and you have to work it out and you have to try somewhere if you're a professional to beat the market. If I'm talking about those different games, you can start with anyone and you can play the games yourself. When you also, there are games where, that are explicitly made for gambling, where I could line up here or uh, name here, first of all, the games of Beckhamen that I used to play, which is a game of skill, of course. But also, they added those dice to it, right? So you, you can still be lucky or unlucky, but still you have to make a proper move to beat your opponent. If he gets lucky, okay, he's still gonna lose, but let's say play 10 games or 100 games, maybe we'll see who's better. And then, and then there's a game of, uh, let's say, Blackjack, which had been, to some extent, a game of skill, and especially you could use your skill to the extent to be able to beat the casino. And this is, uh, so I did play some blackjack and I worked out a couple of program simulations I run and I did some uh, calculation, manual calculations too, to, to work out uh, certain, and uh, also to see the difference, right? Whereas, and I've, I found out a couple of things that, that people, uh, the, those, all those uh, road books, they, they never worked that out because they said it's, it's meaningless, but I say it was meaningful. There is a strategy, or there had been a strategy with the card counting, maybe, of course, everyone has heard about it. And, uh, of course, you have to uh, understand that uh, matter, first of all, that, um, that skill, you have to master that skill of counting cards, and, which is not difficult at all, I'm saying, I'm telling you. Anyway, there's Blackgammon, Blackjack, and there is poker, which for me is the ultimate uh, uh, kind of game of skill and luck and you can actually the, the the advantage of the poker game over other games so that is why maybe this has become so big and maybe well plenty of professional gamblers I knew uh, or I know still but uh, I lost uh, no more no more not in touch anymore with with uh, just with a few uh, because I'm, I'm not playing poker and, and backgammon anymore. I did some, but um, so I'm not in this um, surroundings, these surroundings. Anyway, the, the, uh, they, they, they turned to poker and what, what makes it better than other games? Better in the sense of if you want to be professional and want to make some money. Why is it better? Because you can actually not, in fact, prove any move someone makes as a mistake and that is most important because the, the ones that are losing in the long run they are there, they have to be there because if you are on a higher skill level you will win more often than the one on the lower skill level and, and, and of course the one on the lower skill level at some point he will he should lose his money. He can't preserve luck forever. You can get lucky. Okay, once again to ace, 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 king, and so on. So, and I, I build a street there, and I, I made my flush, and whatever it is. But it's, this you can't preserve it, right? Go on, stop after one session if you want, and if you don't have any idea of the game. But rather, if you if you continue, which people usually do, you will lose in the long run. But or try to improve your skills, and if you get better than others, then maybe you you will you will uh, still win in the long run. But the difference to chess nowadays we have the so you can also play chess for money, right? Which people usually they do not know do because they know already who's going to win, the one who's better, and this is measured in the the elo rating and so on. So they just say, uh, I'm not going to play you. You have to give me odds or you have to give me some time or when you play with a clock and so on. 
but um, they usually still don't do it because after one session you know who's better. I'm, I haven't got a chance. We played 20 games, I won 5, I lost 15. If you get this far, you say, well, I'd rather do not play this guy again. Okay, you can play chess, but nowadays we have those computers and they say this is a wrong move, so this is bad, you're losing. In, this is fully accepted by all the world class and every, everyone has to accept that this, is, this was a mistake. So you, you made a bad move, you're gonna lose. In backgammon, you can still argue a bit because you say, well, there is this luck factor. And if you say, I'm giving you a, f a six shot instead of a three shot, let's say, very simple example. Yeah, but, but the six shot is much more likely than a three shot. Yeah, but you see, you rolled a three and you didn't hit me. I mean, uh, three square, uh, three um, points away. Anyway, this is just a, uh, you didn't hit me, so I, I, I knew you were not going to roll a six or whatever it was. It is just a silly example. But you could still argue if the one who makes the worst move is, win moves, is winning, then you can still argue. You can say, well, I knew that. I knew what I had to do because I can tell the dice, whatever it is. And in poker, and still the program would tell you, you played a bad move. And the, the computers are ready to, to tell you and they, they know and understand. If you play poker, you can argue about any move you made. You can still say, well, it's been a mistake. Yeah, but I thought because you did this before and you had done this before. So I thought you had this hand. I, I put you on this hand. I was wrong, okay, but I had my reason to do so. And you can also argue with any, even with big mistakes. I mean, now uh, you can say, I made that, made that um, on purpose. You made the first and you sit down at the table with new players and you do not know, uh, no one knows you, you do not know them. And then you start playing, you make a serious mistake in the first game you play. And then they would always remember you as the, the one who has no idea of the game. So you, from then on you can start play well and they will never notice. I mean, so it was a, <laughs> it was a bad mistake, but it was one that made a lot of sense. Anyway. There are many such scenarios, so to say, where you can say, well, I've done this because I thought this, and you can't prove it's been a mistake. You can't say, well, the program wouldn't do it. You can say, well, everyone who does have a lot of well, understanding of the game, he wouldn't do it. But you can still argue, because you can say, I knew what I thought, and I knew what it was good for, and whatever you tell me, I... I I noticed it was wrong, but I'm, I'm, I, there must have been other things possible that uh, could have made me a winner here. Anyway, this is uh, so in, in poker, this is going to last for a, quite a while that people, also weak players, will play it. Because they say, I can have any hand and I can do whatever I, I would wish to with this hand. And no one can tell me this was a mistake. I lay down a good hand. Or I go in with a 2-7 or so and I have my reasons for that and I've done it in this moment and I even got lucky in this hand because two, two twos in the flop or whatever, two deuces in the flop. So I, I have my, my three deuces <laughs> hidden, well hidden. And whatever it is, right, it can go wrong and can, it can go bad, but you can always say, well, I had my reasons and you cannot prove a mistake. That's why this game is better than others. So anyway, there are games you can that are designed to play for money, as I said, that was rather stick to backgammon, blackjack and, uh, and, and poker for now. There are lots of other um, yeah, chances and there are the, the sports that you can bet on. I mean, the, those players are asked not to bet on it and there are always those, yeah, sometimes it happens, maybe still. And they try to avoid it, of course, that p people taking part, they, they make bets themselves. Um, I've witnessed that and it does happen. But it's, uh, of course, uh, yeah, usually you should say they are making their sports and they make some money with it and you may bet on it. And that's why also tennis went badly wrong with betting because it's just one player. So they can, uh, uh, yeah, it's much easier when then uh, talking with the team and uh, in... in um, Tennis, it is, 
I mean, we had this uh, bribing, I don't know what it's called, what is fraud? Fraud, yeah, bad fraud, bad fraud. Uh, in, in, in tennis, maybe. So the, those are the things I would rather uh, uh, keep out for now and, and not talk about this. But uh, it does exist, of course. But usually, those people are making sports and you can bet on it. You can watch it and you can bet on it. You have your opinions, you know, this is a very good player. Oh, they bought this new player, so I'm going to go with this team. Or I'm going to go against it because they have this coach and I know him and he has no idea of football. Or whatever it is, your reasons to bet on it. But then you're, you're not this, the, the skilled person to, you know, to, to show your, your skills on the, on the pitch or whatever, wherever it's played. If it's table tennis at the table and you still bet on it and you say, well, this is my man and you see he's going to win the set and he's going to win the match. And uh, uh, your skills would be to calculate the probabilities. That's what I'm trying to say. And, and to make a good bet like that and find a good bet. And uh, the, the, um, uh, the, when you direct gambling, um, there are also those uh, characteristics as I showed or explained already in po uh, roulette, for example, you have a very fair game you still will lose in the long run so it's a it's a very it's a big temptation somehow for any gambler actually because you can always play day and night and you can easily get lucky and if you lost a bad match or a bad bet or whatever it is go to the casino and let, put some chips on, on, on the table you may easily win and because it's so easy to get lucky there, because you do not need a lot of luck. This is the last point maybe that I wanted to show or talk about. And uh, people do not tend to understand that, but it's a very, uh, it's a very, uh, I could do my one minus, right? But anyway, um, let's say once again, those are percentages. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm obviously I've been, able to make that a bit longer than I wanted. But if you have, this is, uh, this is a um, philosophical concept, I would call it, but it simply does make a lot of sense and it's simply, for me, it is just right. If you had this distribution for an event to come, so Germany to uh, go on in the group stage of the uh, of the World Cup, right? It, I don't know the figures, I worked them out and I could look them up, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just giving them some random figures. Because they are so good and they are so much better than Mexico, Sweden and uh, um, South Korea. Uh, they have three chances, and uh, but maybe it had been just 90%. I don't know. Anyway, what I wanted to show here is if this is a proper calculation before the event is kicked off, right? And you have a certain event, um, Germany to survive the group in World Cup 2018, right? And you had this, uh, uh, yes, <laughs> no, <laughs> and you have this calculation before the first ball is kicked and it were as exact as could be or it would be God given, I don't know, if you had this distribution, then to make this happen that Germany are going through, right? This is the important thing you should keep in mind or yeah, it is some basic concept which is pretty important. If you have a 95% chance for a thing and you would say, well, this is going to happen, or this will happen. I mean, it's, 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 they are so close already, right? So it is going to happen. And you may feel like that. I don't know. Germany are going to qualify. But if it does not happen, you would say, well, that's a sensation, right? It's a, it's, it's a yeah, sensational. What, what other words are there? It's a miracle. That's a wonder. That's a big surprise, a big upset, major upset. When he such terms which have some yeah probabilities, underlying probabilities. Right? Surprise. Oh, that's a surprise. Germany are out. Maybe Englishmen would say that because they have just <laughs> it's fine. 
It's fine. They wouldn't say. Yeah, it's a surprise, small surprise, big surprise. How big a surprise is it? It's a major upset. It's a major blow. No, it's a. I don't know all those the words that that, that you could use, but they are somehow correlated with a with a probability. But the 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 one saying that is imagining, right? Uh, and and fancies, and he doesn't even know the probabilities, right? Because usually you just say that, what? Can't believe that. Really? Leicester won the Premier League? I mean, this guy came back from the moon, right? So he did not see all the games until Leicester did win the, the, the championship. And you would say, what? Leicester? Can't believe it. They, what? Because they're still playing football, right? Or what is it? Yeah, Leicester won. And he said, well, that's a one miracle. That's a miracle. It was. That's a miracle. And it is a miracle, but what, how big is the chance for a miracle to happen, right? It's one in a thousand? I don't know. Then you would say miracle? Well, I don't know. Anyway, um, for that favorite um, um, thing, <laughs> the favorite uh, occurrence to occur, <laughs> to really occur, it's they still have to overcome those remaining 5%. And what would they need to do so? They do not need their skill, because the skill is already in those 95%, if this calculation is right. You can't use it, throw away your skills, the skills are in that already, right? So you can't do the remaining 5% until you are through the group stage. So what you need to make 95% 100%. So you are the big favorite or they are, or you know, uh, what is it now, maybe uh, Hamilton, what is the one I mean, to, to, to win the, the, the Formula One now, maybe 95%, he still needs to overcome the last 5%. And all he needs, all he can use for that, the only thing he can make use of is luck. He can't do anything else. I mean, he has to use his skills. If he slows down now, for example, then it would not be uh, that, that he doesn't need luck anymore. What, what is, happens then is the calculation is wrong. So if you knew at some point well, he's not going to uh, do his normal job anymore because he feels too certain, then you should go back to the, your calculations and then say, okay, if he feels like that and I saw him talking, okay, that's only 85% from now on, so from now on you need 15% luck. You're still a big favorite, but you need a little more luck. All I'm trying to, to say is, also the biggest favorite leads the rem needs the remaining part to accomplish the 100 percent to of and, and he needs that in luck he needs luck for that remaining percentage he can't do it otherwise his skill are, is already in the calculation otherwise the calculation is wrong which always can be the case but keep that in mind that concept because i have to Stop the video now and I'm also probably making you tired with that. And I hope you can do something with it and hope you come back. Thanks a lot for watching.